so for our Thursday night item, we're going to do something else with more coding locally. But this time, um, of course, you're going to do the lectures. So again, there's videos for that. I'm not going to go over it. Okay. But here's what I want you to do this time. We already built out that pages subdirectory on our local system, right? So again, what I'm kind of what I did on the Monday night item I'm doing here, where I'm providing you uh, the URL that you ultimately have, but the subdirectory in this case is one we've already created, okay, which is the pages directory, right? So take the ending code from part eight, Right, our code along, and then copy, copy, um, copy that code into Pages, right, the subdirectory that we created a couple weeks ago. Okay, so that's what this means right here. Right, update the content, the images, right, the links, and the CSS. So play around with it. Right, then do a commit called commit message updating website. Okay, now once you do that, then I'm going to have you create. Uh, a new page. This new page is going to be called contact.html. So take the same design, which basically means copy the index.html into a new file you call contact, and then copy. Uh, in this case, you can copy all the content from the index, right? Uh, but then what you'll end up doing, and I'll show you this so you'll see it, is you'll copy the section with the form, right? Uh, into the contact page and and actually you've already copied it so this is not the best wording and then remove it from the index uh, page right so I need to reword that a little bit but I think showing you should help right and then on your index and on the contact page somewhere in the header right and I'll show you how I did it you can do it through um, however you want to do it create a link so in the index file create a link to the contact uh, HTML and on the contact create a link back to the index right uh, name it style it however you want and then commit here right with creating contact uh, and adding uh, H uh, adding style okay so once you get that and again play around now by the way the thing I want you to do and I think I have this open here Right. So what I want you to do too on the images part, very much what we did before on the pages, right? When I had to create the pages, I want you to use place all the images you're bringing over into this images directory, okay? And then uh, that backs, you know, dot dot forward slash when you reference the image is how um, in your files here I want you to reference that. Okay, so you can either bring them over if you're going to create new ones, but in this case I want you to have them uh, in this images. That way we end up with all your images in one location and not scattered out uh, all over the place. Now I'll show you mine. Here's my page. Uh, now in this case I Right, I put a. I ended up going going and finding some icons. I thought they were fun. You can do that if you want. You can write uh, just regular links here. Right, we've done some of this already, and so here uh, on the contact page. So you can see on the contact page it only had the form, and then on the home it had the content that we wrote. But I want you to modify this content. And I was playing around today too, and you can ask chat this as well, right? I wanted to figure out how to make, uh, in this case, the unordered list and the ordered list uh, show up next to it. It was pretty simple. Uh, see if you can come up with a prompt to do that. Again, ask out on Discord if you're not, if you don't know, I'd be ha happy to tell anybody who asked me how I did that. Okay. So the key is to this, right, is you're doing this in the pages directory, right? You're copying over from what we ended up uh, in the code along, what it was in the HTML and the style.css, bringing it over into here, right? Creating a new page, copying the form from the index into the contact. But the reason I said copy all the code was so that you would have the same looking page, so that here the design uh, looks the same. That's what I meant by that. 
And the only other thing, and let me see, I can show you here, like on mine, uh, I did, you know, on my image source, dot, dot, image, uh, here, so that then it references and then placed the images here. Now, again, this is different from how we did it in the code along. Okay, I had you just create, uh, I think, did I have you create an images directory? If not, I suspect you've asked me about this because I think I had you go find some images out there to play around with. And I think you probably ended up putting them in uh, the same level as the HTML and CSS. But here, I'm going to have you change that. And again, we're getting just more experience doing this. Okay, so on this one again, uh, I'll reward this by the time you see it, so hopefully it's more clear. Complete your Git workflow and provide a link, right? This link right here, again, you have to customize this for your repo name. And by the way, don't, if you ha if it's not showing up, like I, sh like I give you the warning on, on Monday night's items, don't go out, you know, because it could take a few minutes from the time you work locally until you push to GitHub for it to show up. Don't go out and mess with the GitHub a pages setting because I've had students do that and then it just doesn't, it doesn't work, okay? Um, and then I show them how to fix it. And so just let me, let me be clear about this. Under the 85 directory, under your public repo, under settings, under pages, right? Don't go out here and try to th and think if it's not showing up, I can fix it here. Yeah, don't do that because it, this just is a pain uh, to redeploy once you have, uh, for some reason, I think there's an option here to unpublish, so don't ever do that. Well, I mean, if you do, we'll fix it. Just try not to, it'll cause a pain for you, which is not what I want for you. Okay, have fun with this one, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.